This is Chromar with TGN, welcoming you to another World of Warcraft Cataclysm video. This is Meloriac, one of the bosses of Blackwing Descent on 10-man normal mode. Now we actually recorded this video on October 30th, but I didn't release it because we didn't make it to the final burn phase. I hope we get more time on the boss, but because of raids being locked most of the time and the surprise opening of Heroics, we actually never got to it. After release, when Tally's Guild gets leveled and geared, we'll have some better videos for you. But anyway, uh, Meloriac is essentially an ad-based fight. His other abilities are largely inconsequential. Throughout the fight, he summons ads with an interruptible spell called Release Aberration. Uh, he summons about three at a time with that spell, but there's only a total of 18 ads to kill. So once you kill all 18, you're done with ads. If you don't let any of the ads summon throughout the fight, he releases them all at once at 20%, which is a guaranteed wipe. Uh, this is basically the same as the Dragonhawk boss from Zula Man. You want to allow the boss to release a few ads at once. And I'll show you the off-tank's perspective in a little, a little bit so you see what the ads look like. But uh, your off-tank will be able to handle about six ads. Uh, once you get up to nine, it becomes untankable, even if you're an overpowered DK or a paladin. Uh, the only problem is that the boss has an enrage timer, which you will likely bump into if you wait too long on the ads. It's tough, though, because the boss casts another interruptible ability called Arcane Storm. It's a channeled AoE that wipes the raid in about four or five seconds if it's uninterrupted. You'll want to assign interrupters to Arcane Storm and others to release aberration. Now, the ads have a buff called Growth Catalyst, and this buff stacks if ads are next to each other, which is why 9 ads are so hard to tank. Worse yet, the buff also stacks on the boss, so the main tank can't pick up an ad or two to help. Uh, the rest of the fight, though, comes down to the three phases, red, blue, and green. The boss throws a vial in the cauldron, telling you which phase is next. Uh, red and blue are either first or second, and green is always third. During red phase, the boss hits the raid with a meteor star fire AoE, and everyone must stack up and the damage is inconsequential if you stack up. Uh, he also casts a nasty dot called Consuming Flames. Whoever gets that debuff will need to get heals uh, really fast. And during the blue phase, he casts a Keltuzad style uh, chaining Ice Tomb, so everyone has to spread out for that. And uh, you also have to destroy the Ice Tomb with damage. He also casts this dot called Biting Chill, and it hits all nearby friendly targets from the, the person who gets hit with it, but it's easy to manage since everyone will be spread out anyway. So, in short, red is stacked, blue is spread. Very simple. Now, the third phase, green phase, is the most important one. Uh, when the boss coats everyone in a poison, that increases damage taken by 100%. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone, including the boss and including his adds. This debuff also temporarily removes that growth catalyst I mentioned. And so that's why this is the time you want to go ahead and stack everything up, stack the bosses and the adds, and AoE like crazy. And you want to use this opportunity to kill every add. Uh, if you don't, you might be in trouble. So after a couple cycles of the green phase with 9 adds per phase, you should be finally done with the adds. Uh, DPS the boss 20% and then you go to the burn phase. And in short, uh, you just spread out and he summons a couple of special and tauntable adds just to remind you to hurry. But as long as you uh, are you know, able to DPS them down fast enough, you should have no problem with them. Now in the attempt that you're watching now, uh, we were able to survive the first green phase, make it to the next red phase. but. Uh, we did not kill all the ads, so we just didn't react fast enough. I'm not sure exactly, but just, you know, something that gets better with practice. And as a result, the ads were too much, and when we released the next set of ads, it was overwhelming, and the off-tank uh, got killed pretty quick. Now I want to jump in uh, part of the way through this attempt and show you the transition to green phase again. And I want to show you just kind of what happens if you don't get that poison cleanse. Um, you'll notice I'm at full health right now. He starts to cast a King Storm, gets interrupted, no biggie. Then he starts hitting me, just whacking me for huge amounts of damage because the poison isn't cleansed. And uh, that's probably technically healable, but your healer's got to be really on the ball. And there's a lot of chaos going on in this phase. So the healers were not expecting me to take that much damage, and that's why I died. I just wanted to include that to show you that you need to uh, definitely make sure you purge those poisons. So for this one I want to show you what it looks like to off tank but I also want to show you an alternate strategy that we decided to try. Uh, we decided to try having two off tanks and we actually split the um, the, the trogs here or whatever these things are uh, evenly uh, all for the most part although I think my, my partner over there accidentally pulled one off of me. Um, it's hard to tell you know if it's supposed to be your mob that got loose or if it's your partner's mob or whatever but anyway now, uh, the plan, of course, is to get six each, uh, which is the total amount he summons if you don't interrupt any of his casts, and then on the green face, AoE them all down at once. And it's a pretty sound strategy. We just had some problems with the execution. Holding onto these mobs is really, really easy, and as you see when you've got a small group of them, they do almost no damage, and your healer can take care of it easily. 
Once you have actually two tanks with six mobs each, it gets a little tougher, but still manageable. And uh, it's actually a lot easier to heal two tanks with six mobs than it is one tank with nine mobs because of the the um, stacking effect of having multiple mobs stacking each other. What killed us here is that the um, the DK wound up getting too many adds, and I was trying to count them. Uh, I lost kind of lost count there. But the DK actually got way more ads than I did. And it wasn't just because the one he taunted off me. It was because he just got a whole bunch extra on his side. So the sides are kind of random. So what you want to do is coordinate with your tank, with your partner, just to make sure that they um, don't get too many ads. If you're, you're like, wait a minute, I've only got like two ads. What's up with this? Then you need to communicate and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and taunt some ads off you or whatnot. So you have an even amount. But that's just an alternate strategy. It's not the way you have to do it. So we never made it to the burn phase, and we never had another chance to uh, to really give this a good shot, like I mentioned. But uh, that still show you just about the whole fight. Basically, red stack up, blue spread out, green kill adds. You have to develop your own strategy for the adds because the adds are the actual challenge of the fight. The other builds are, are really nothing. Well, that's all for Maloriac for today. Uh, boss of Blackwing Descent on Ten Man Normal. This is Cromar with TGN. As always, asking you to please rate, please comment, and please subscribe.